heart's been said Many times, many ways Merry Christmas I'm Serenity and this is my channel. Channel. <laughs> Welcome. You can't even see my hair like at all. I cut it since the last time you guys saw me. Like a lot. And my mom hates it. Like absolutely hates my hair. <sighs> we are joined by Scarlett back here who has an itch. And Pix is down here on my heated blanket. So you hear either one of them. Um, welcome to 13 days of Christmas on my channel. For 13 days, I will be posting some sort of DIY holiday thing to this channel. If you want to see the full calendar, it's linked over on my Instagram page, will be linked down below. And with any craft or DIY, there will be a blog post that goes live at the same time with the files and everything you need and in more depth details. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make chip bags, the famous chip bags. Again, this thing does not want to autofocus. But there will be a free template and everything, everything you need to know, link down below, or you can screenshot in this video, whatever you choose. I know when I started making chip bags, no one wanted to share, so I kind of figured it out on my own, and I'm giving that knowledge back to you today, so you don't have to go through what I went through. And I've been making these for a year now, so let's get into it. Let's start with the supplies you'll be needing. You'll need photo glossy paper, a printer with ink, a hot glue gun with glue gun sticks, zigzag scissors a laptop or computer, one ounce chip bags, and some sort of paper cutter. I've been Keynote on my laptop, this is the PowerPoint version on MacBook and I'm setting it to the standard size. Here are the dimensions here for you. And then I'm going to upload the background I wanted just using copy and paste, mirroring the images to get the background I want of my chip bags, cropping everything and grouping it together so it's easier to maneuver later on. Then I'm uploading my chip bag template, which will be linked down below in a blog post, or you can screenshot this video. And I'm adding these lines here for the dimensions so I know where they are. You can delete these lines later. Next, I'm adding the nutrition facts that chip bags have. Again, this will be linked blog post down below. Now, I'm going with the Winter Wonderland theme, so I found this little polar bear here. To get rid of the background, I use this website here called Remove. Again, it'll be linked down below. Everything I do will be linked below. And I'm sizing it right under the nutrition facts where this blank area goes. Next, I'm going to upload my logo, and this is where you'd put your logo too. I felt like this side needed a little bit more, so I searched for a winter bird just to put on top of the nutrition facts. This is something I love doing. Again, I removed the background using that website and then I just resized this bird and cropped it however I saw fit. Now we're gonna work on the other side. I found this box, I really didn't love it. You're gonna see me change it later. And now I'm gonna type the generic message I put on every single chip bag and it's basically thank you for celebrating with us, but this time it's more winter theme. And, and I'm just adding a font and adding a gradient fill background so you can see the message and just resizing it till it fits that area, making it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna add eating one on top of this. And we are done with the back of the chip bags. Now I'm just typing my message, which is happy holidays 2021. Messing with the font of it, location, size, everything, adding a shadow to the back and an outline in white to make it pop. That's literally all I'm doing. Once I'm satisfied with how it looks, I am adding these little snow animals and beanies I found. So you're gonna see a leopard, a polar bear, and a penguin. And I'm just adding them at the bottom here. And then I really did not like that penguin up there. So I have one in the front. So I looked for a snow owl. And lastly, I'm just adding a Christmas wreath. Again, using this remove background thing and adding it right above there. And lastly, I am done pretty much here. So I'm just gonna export this file and save it to under Keynote, just in case I need to come back and make any edits or mistakes I had. Then to print, I'm gonna click on the image I saved, go to print, I'm gonna put full capacity and then scale. I don't know why, but it works this way better. Then go to 74% to make sure all my image is there. I'm making three copies, going to media quality, plain glossy, and best. That is very important with the paper you are using. Loading my paper in my printer, right here and then it takes forever to print but when it prints it's so pretty each sheet usually takes about five minutes to print it's annoying but it works and you're about to see it up close it's so nice and glossy all right time to assemble these babies i'm using my paper cutter and just cutting the edge the thinner edge on the side here just a little thin white edge here it's no more than like quarter of a centimeter 
And once all three of those are done, I'm going to be teaching you three methods of how to make these. And these are all the methods I started with. So you're going to fold those lines you added in, remember, at the very beginning. And then you're going to glue using the thick side of that white we left on. That's where all your glue goes. Then you glue both sides together, make sure it holds. I like to rub underneath. And then to assemble this one, you just put your chips in and glue the top and the bottom. And careful, the pot paper gets hot. Once that's done, you set aside till it's fully dried. Now, remember you're only allowed to use chips under an ounce or else it won't fit. Next is called the roll method. This is the second method I learned. And I'm just rolling it into a tube and gluing the top half. Now, if you're selling these unfilled, this is how you would sell them with the top, like one part open, but then you fill the bottom and then you would glue the bottom. Simple as that, right? It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. And this is the method I use now. Again, we're going in with that roll like we did earlier, making sure it's nice and dry before we add anything in. And this is for those chips that have a lot of air. I find it easier. Then you put your chips in and I then you glue the top and bottom. Easy as that. Once all of our chips are done, whatever method you chose, we're gonna do the final touch, and that is cutting off the edges with our zigzag scissors to give it more of that chip look. Seriously, it's that easy, it's just so simple. And here they are completed. Remember, everything I use will be linked down below, along with the link to the template on my blog post for your nutrition file and chip template. What did you guys think? Remember the link for every template and everything in the blog post is linked down below. There will be 13 days of Miss. Today is day one, 13, because Taylor Swift was born in December on the 13th and her favorite number is 13th and I can't commit to 24 days. That's too much. So we went with 13. The picture of the day is this picture of Scarlett in my car. My, not my car, my mom's car, because I don't drive. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.